Hannah Faber, a smoke jumper, is struggling to cope with the guilt of failing to save three young smoke jumpers from a forest fire. She is assigned to a fire lookout tower in Park County, Montana, where she is supposed to keep an eye out for fires and alert authorities when necessary. Meanwhile, Owen Cassidy, a forensic accountant, discovers that his boss and his family were murdered, and he fears that he and his son, Connor, are next on the hit list. Owen takes Connor and goes on the run, seeking refuge with his brother-in-law, Ethan Sawyer, who is a deputy sheriff and Hannah's ex-boyfriend. Unfortunately, Owen and Connor are ambushed by the assassins Jack and Patrick Blackwell, hired by a mob boss named Arthur Philip. Owen dies after giving Connor evidence against Arthur Philip, and Connor escapes. Hannah discovers Connor while patrolling the area and takes him to her tower to seek help. However, the Blackwells are on their trail, and they start a forest fire to distract the authorities. They go to Ethan's house looking for Connor but are unable to find him. Ethan returns home with the sheriff after his pregnant wife, Allison, alerts him that something is wrong. However, the Blackwells kill the sheriff and force Ethan to guide them through the woods. Hannah and Connor try to escape the fire, but they are struck by lightning. Ethan discovers the wreckage of Owen's car and makes his way to Hannah's tower, where the Blackwells ambush him. Ethan is injured, but Hannah and Connor manage to escape. Allison tracks down the Blackwells and starts shooting at them, killing Jack. Patrick goes after Hannah and Connor, but they manage to escape. In the end, Hannah injures Patrick and leaves him to burn to death in the approaching fire. Allison and Ethan are trapped in the tower by the fire and hold each other while waiting for the end. Meanwhile, Hannah and Connor escape by jumping into a stream and watching as the forest burns around them. In the morning, Hannah's old smoke jumping team arrives to rescue her, Connor, and Allison. Ethan, unfortunately, dies from his earlier injuries. Connor prepares to give his father's evidence to the media while being comforted by Henna, who promises to help him through his uncertain future.